Asekon Loa keeps the key to the most important possession in her village. Most of the livestock here has died because of drought. So charging a small fee to enter this archaeological site is her only livelihood. Fossil hunters came here three decades ago and started digging right behind her house. That is where we kept our livestock. Our house was there as well. We had to move when they started their work, she says. The most complete early human skeleton ever found is called the Trucana boy. He was between 9 and 12 when he died about 1.6 million years ago. In 1984, when archaeologists discovered the Trucana boy, this area was and remains isolated with very few villages around. Those who were here and witnessed the excavations say there was so much excitement and hope that it would pay off for them. Today, they tell us they're disappointed. There is no benefit here. It has lost meaning to us and made us angry. We don't know why this monument was brought here if it can't help us. His remains are in a vault at the National Museum in Nairobi. It's a two-day drive from Trukana. Villagers want him returned, or at least a replica displayed in a properly constructed museum, along with better roads to attract more visitors. We will be encouraging youth and, and the people around the site to form guides, to build um, uh, amenities where people who are coming to visit the site can be able to, to uh, enjoy uh, the site. And we think this one will spur both tourism and also livelihoods along these communities. Scientists believe Trukana boy is related to all of us. He's said to have been intelligent and walked upright. Over the decades, many other fossils, including animals and ancient tools, have also been found in different parts of the country, making Kenyan archaeological sites crucial to the study of evolution. So we know a lot about those particular sites. We've built a wonderful story out of those particular sites, but there are still missing links that we, feel that we need to fill. In Trukana, Asekon says that on average, they only get one visiting group a month. Curators at the Nairobi Museum she's never been to tell us that the only way she can be helped is if Kenya's rich historical heritage is marketed more. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Trukana, Northern Kenya.